so I got here this uh, this old laptop, uh, a city desk, which has an IDE drive fitted, and it's a very small hard disk. It's only 20 gigabytes, and I want to swap it for something bigger, but I want to swap it with an SSD. And the problem I found was that this is this has an IDE drive in it, so uh, you go. See, it has an IDE drive. So if you want to swap it with an SSD, all SSDs are SATA connection. So. What I found was, I found this on AliExpress. This is an adapter which is about the same size. This is about the same size as the disc. And uh, it has an IDE connection. But then on the inside, let me just see how I open it here. Yeah. I guess. Uh, whoops. There are some bolts inside. The, but on the inside, this has a connection for a mini SATA. So. I bought this um, M SATA SSD. This is a hundred and 28 gigabyte golden fear and the thing is this is supposed to work a bit like this you connect it here you put the bolts on and then you plug this you put the cover on and then you plug it to the IDE drive and it should work okay. So if the computer if the motherboard supports it <laughs> that's another thing I have to check but uh, alright let me it comes with these bolts looks like these are the ones to adapt can you see what I'm doing? These are the ones to adapt it here. Aren't they? These the ones. They should be. Well, well, well. Looks like they're fitted backwards. What the heck? Is that some kind of glue? It, it has fucking hell, it has a bloody sticker. Let me remove it. Why did they do this, man?
Okay. Now it should fit. Mm, yeah. Now it goes in okay. And I got here another one. And that's it. Now I should have a MSATA, a mini SATA adapted to an IDE so that I can fit a, a solid state drive on an old laptop. Just gonna put the box on this. Close the box. And then there are these these tiny screws that close it and I think this screwdriver is too big but will work. And there we go. I'm just gonna put all the bolts all around and then I'm gonna clone the two discs with uh, HD clone or a Yomwe backup or and uh, I'll fit it to the computer and see if it works okay. Let me just put these bolts all around put these bolts all around and then uh, clone the drives okay okay so now I just cloned the discs I'm gonna fit it here and uh, see if it works Check if that thing works or not. Right, here we go. It's starting windows. Yes, it's an XP. It has the, the look of a 7 Ultimate, but it is an XP. And there you go. It started. So, that's how you do it. See, just gonna have to put some drivers. But, it's working.